It's Anya Divine here. I'm setting up in the car. Just, um, I was gonna go straight down to the harbour and do a, an oil painting, but um, I had another sheet of paper. I did a drawing earlier um, of these two boats. Um, I don't know if you can see them very clearly from my angle. You probably can't see them from my angle, but at least you're able to see them. And um, I thought instead of going launching in, going down and trying to set myself up and everything down in the sand with um, the iPad set up and all the rest of it. I can see in the, I can see in the window, uh, sorry, in the mirror, I can see it. So you can see my board and you can see the boats just. I think you can't really see the other red one. Um, so instead of setting it all up, I thought I'd chance my arm now first and do um, another, I may as well do another little drawing. I'm trying to start myself out here in the car. Um, I thought I'd do another little drawing before before launching in down there, just in case it doesn't work out that I can set you up down there as well, you know. So, um, I know it's a bit lopsided and everything, but sure, it's better than nothing anyway. Yeah, and you can see the two boats. I think I'll just aim to, to draw those two again. The tide came in and went out, I think, since I've drawn them, and it's almost at the same level as it was when I came here this morning earlier and did that first drawing. So I'm just finding the, the shape of the front of the, the green boat. And this is a acrylic Payne's Grey, well watered down. And I'm using the brush, holding it at the end so that it's got a light touch. And, you know, I'm seeing this as a swift, a swift drawing that's really just to get my eye in and um, Keeping the keeping the brush moving seems to be helping me just now to tune out the thinking mind. And uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's lovely sounds of the water coming in there. It's also quite a soothing thing. It helps me to get into the frame, into the frame of mind, or out of my mind, in order to be able to paint. So it's kind of good with the Payne's Grey acrylic mixed with water. The line goes on for a long time. So I'm able to keep the brush and the paper for longer than I would if it was, if, for example, a stick and ink or something. And it's also given me the possibility of shading in areas too if I wanted to say, you know, put in the shadow, the dark of the cabin and things. I could do that. The dark of the windows. But I want to first get the relationship between the two boats before going into any more detail in any in one of them. So I'm just finding where the other boat meets this one. And the size of parts of the other boat. And that band that's parked up behind was there earlier as well. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. You know, the white van and I chose to leave that out before. And I'll, cho I'll choose to leave it out again, I think it's not appealing to me at all, the van. So I'm just going to draw everything else that I can see. But I'll take artistic license there and, and leave the van out. Okay. There's some crates on top of that one. And I, I want to put them in location before I at least go, before again going into any detail I want to describe something of the space which, within which they sit. The wall of the pier behind there and then the wall of the pier as it comes down here and the shapes made between, I'm going to use the burnt umber now or the raw umber this, to describe the wall coming down this way in just a slightly different colour and the shapes made between the, the edge of the wall and coming down for the mast you know, I'm noticing the shape of this space here in order to help me clarify the position of the boats again. Re-establish them again. It's quite a satisfying thing to do it with a different point of reference. Like from earlier, I was just drawing it from scratch, landing the boat in the, in the painting. Whereas now I'm, I'm able to refer to the, the wall as a, a help. And then there's that lovely bright boy. Makes me want to reach for the acrylics and put some colour into this. There's a bag of acrylics behind the seat here, so I might do that. Let's see. 
I might just leave it as a sketch too. At this point it's helpful for me to feel that it's going to be just a sketch rather than anything precious. So there's the shadow. And then the, the wall meets the sand here. The sand is kind of bulging up, it's not straight. Of course you can't see the bottom of the drawing, can you? Sorry. It's going to mean, it means you won't see the boats, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I was saying the, the sand kind of bulbs up there and the boat, the front of the boat is lodged in the sand and then there's the edge of the water here. And with my eyes half closed I'm noticing that there's a bit of a shadow on the water of the, um, a reflection of the boats on the water. It's not completely, it's not a completely dark shadow but it's, um, it's got some dark, especially around the underside of this boat. It's quite dark there. And then there's a little bit when the water's in, and even when the water goes out, the sand is even when the water goes out, the sand is um, glistening and it's it's a bit dark there, so the reflection of the boat is seen in the sand as well. I'm having to half close my eyes to notice that, and as I do, I notice too that I've not filled in the cabin windows yet. I see now, and I'm happy with the position of them. What have I done? So this is the cabin and the other boat. And then there's a bit of a thing that goes around the back. It's got a bit mixed up with that boat. I need to redraw the bottom of it. Because I put it down way lower than it is. The bottom of the boat is right there. The thing is this the tide is changing a little bit so I might have got I might have got completely mixed up or I might have drawn it wrongly. Whichever anyway. Or I might have just not found it. I was gonna start trying just to use wording there that didn't include wrong. Because <laughs> I'm trying not to see myself as being wrong. Sometimes it's, the, it's just the word, isn't it? Right. And there's windows in that cabin back there. And the shadow on this boat I think will help. And then there's a line of painted line and then there's a red beneath it. And then here comes the other boat. I'm gonna put a bit more paints grey on this to darken parts. That seem relevant. Um, I've got a fairly dark colour on the brush now, so I'm not inclined to go back to the background and use the dark over there, so I'll carry on the foreground for a while, but I do want to establish something of the background behind the wall, the harbour wall here. So we've got the, the path that's quite light, and I'm skipping out the van, so I'm just going to go past the van, and then the end of the wall meets it's further over from the end of the boat. And there's another little bit of red brick or something. And then there's a, a thing, a bollard thing. And there's a lovely orange rope coming down there. Again, if I was using colour, now those are the flashes that would be inspiring to put in, wouldn't they? Along with the orange boy in the front. Just feeling that. It's very nice. And then we've got the line of the wall behind. And behind that is, um, we're looking across across the fourth to Fife. And it wouldn't, it's barely visible, but I'm putting it in in such a way that it, it, it's a bit stronger tonally than it is in real life. But I want to put the sea in below it there, the gap where the sea is. I don't know if the sea is a lot darker, but anyway, it's, it's on now. It's so some, just something to indicate the sea, I think, was helpful there. And the sea in the foreground is also calling for some bit of attention, I think. Yeah, I'd say that's probably all I want to do in the sketch, really. Okay, so I'll show you it a bit more fully. And... Out the window to the 
the boats that I was looking at, the, the green and red boats there. So, saying goodbye from Mackenzie Harbour. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me. And I might set up down below now and see how I get on with the oil paint down on the shore. All the best. Bye.